morning. Um, so I'm driving to work again. And uh, I posted yesterday just about the heaviness of grief and also thinking about Tim's legacy. Last night in the middle of the night, I woke up and was just uh, laying there, kind of swirling around in my thoughts, breathing, praying. My youngest was in bed with me because she was having a rough night. And so um, I grabbed my phone and I just started Googling stuff about uh, widowhood and grief and kind of the the year or two after the death of your spouse and um, I think the thing that's really becoming apparent to me is that this phase is a really hard phase to talk about because it's personal like when it was Tim and cancer and something else outside of myself you know, and we were all cheering him on and celebrating the highs and mourning the lows together. We were all kind of, I felt a little bit outside of it. Um, I definitely was going through my own experience of, of mourning and hardship, but this feels very different, what I'm going through now. And I'm not saying it to like pity myself or to have anyone feel sorry for me. This isn't personal. Like I'm not sharing it because I need any of that or want any of that personally. Um, the companionship, I will say, does feel good. But I am talking about this stuff out loud because I know for a fact that I am not the only person going through this kind of stuff. And... Um, just as we weren't the only people going through cancer. Um, you know, there's a lot of loss. There's a lot of people who are losing partners to illness or death or, um, you know, other hardships. But there's this... this uh, phase right now you know like I'm back to routines and work and the girls are trying to get reacclimated to all of their stuff um, and and there's a, a real like loneliness to it because I don't have the partner to turn to and just even if physically he couldn't do things he could help me problem solve together and problem solve things that related to pertain to our girls um, and their lives and livelihoods and to be navigating that stuff alone when I'm the one looking at the bank accounts and I'm the one managing the finances and I'm the one managing all of those big decisions like you know purchasing a car for our 16 year old who's just about to get her license and, um, you know, money in college accounts and I'm thinking into the future of weddings and, um, like all of those things that you're used to doing together. Um, and it's, uh, I don't know, it just feels really, really different this phase and it feels like it's this massive change that's happened kind of beneath the surface and on the outside I look the same you know nothing about my outside appearances has really changed uh, but on the inside like everything feels really different and um, so just trying to breathe through these changes Last night, in the middle of the night, I reached out to um, several of my girlfriends and um, soul sisters <laughs> and just said, now is when I need to start putting you guys on the calendar because 
I need like I need that support I just need people around me and uh, we have a um, a dear friend who our girls refer to as grandma and she's been staying with us just helping to shuttle the girls around and to be that kind of extra person there and I came home to the house last night and she was making dinner and um you know I feel so so thankful for that kind of support um but it feels important for me just to acknowledge that uh the squirreliness I feel is indicative of the massive change that my whole being is going through. And um, as I started like doing my research and homework last night, I was like, oh yeah, many people have gone through this. And no, this isn't easy. And um, so, you know, I'm grateful for the people out there who have navigated this journey before me, and I am a voice for any of you who are trying to navigate it now or will be, um, so that you don't have to go through it alone. And I think no matter who's gone for through it before us, it there's still there will always be a, an aloneness to it because it's new and it's us and when we go through it ourselves whatever the hardship it's still um, sorry there's bottles clanking in the back of my car you know the first time is always like it's new learning and it's new like things are being rewired inside of our own being and so if we haven't traveled this path before we can learn from other people but we still have to go through that process of shift and change and transformation ourselves and uh, that's not so easy so uh, that's why I'm talking about it and it's kind of dawning on me that the, the part about it feeling really personal right now feels really extra vulnerable to, sh vulnerable to share about it openly, but um, yeah, I also just want to be a voice so that if you're going through it, you don't have to go through it by yourself. Okay. Alright, peace to you on this day, wherever you are.